welcome to booty day. Now, all of these moves again can be done with a weight, without a weight, if you want to add extra resistance. You also have the option, if you have them, to use the booty bands. Um, these things are great just for adding extra resistance, but if you don't have them, it's not a problem. We can do every exercise without them. Um, as I say, just a little bit added benefit in there. Now, everything that we're gonna do can be done just with body weight. Let's get started. So, we're gonna be on the mat for most of this today. So get your mat set up, make sure you've got plenty of space round about you. Again, as I said, a lot of this can be done purely body weight with the bands or even with an additional weight if you want to add some resistance. So feet as close to your bum as you can. Now we're doing 20 of these. So we're coming up, squeeze at the top, down. You really want to be thinking about keeping the shoulders and as much of the upper back on the ground as you can. You are raising from your hips and your glutes, squeezing through that glute muscle when you come to the pause at the top. Squeeze at the top and then back down. With the band around the leg, basically all it's doing is adding a little bit of resistance into the glute area. I've lost count, but we'll say we're at 14. I'll be kind to you. Five to go. Now you should be starting to feel that glute just starting to burn a little bit now. Good. Two more. Well done. Now again with these ones, we're only doing a 30 second pause between each exercise. So we're doing the same again. We're coming up, holding that for a second. But what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna take the legs out to the side and then back in. So we're now working at the sides of the glute muscles here. So bridge up, high as you can through those hips. I want you to keep the tension in the glutes and then you're just gonna take a light pulse out to the side with the legs, back down. If you've got your hips up high enough, your glutes are clenched, your core is clenched, you shouldn't be able to open your legs too far. but it's enough just to give those side butt cheeks and into the glutes a good extra bit of work. If you don't feel like you're feeling it too much, bring the feet a little bit closer to the bum. Take it right up, a little bit of a squeeze out, back down. Good. You should be starting to feel a bit of a burn through that butt now. Good. Five to go. Remember to breathe. Two to go. Last one. Oh, good. Ah. 
Okay. As I say, the band is just a little bit of added resistance. You don't need to use it if you don't want to. Okay, now we're gonna do a similar move again, but we're gonna work the hamstrings a little bit. We're back in that same position again. Heels are coming towards the bum. Chins tucked, shoulders and upper back are on the mat. We are raising through the core and the hips and the glutes. So we're gonna come up to the bridge. We are gonna walk one foot out, tap the heel down, walk it back in. Other side, walk it back in. Maintain that glute bridge the whole time. We're only doing 10 each side. So still 20, but just 10 each side. Good. Keep the core tight, support the lower back. Come on, four to go. Good. One left. Last one. Good. Oh, that is burning. You should feel that. Now we're going to go on to our hands and knees. Again, if you've got a band or anything like that, you can wrap it round. So what we're doing here is kickbacks. So basically you want to be on all fours hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. One leg is going to come up, squeeze the glute and you're just doing a little kick up towards the ear. So up, squeeze the glute, kick up towards the ear. Keep that squeeze in the glute as you go up, bring it back down. Good. Squeeze it. Kick it up. Now, if you do have a band and you want to try it with that, as I say, just adding a little bit of extra resistance. It goes round your knees. Same position. And you're just pushing up. So if you do it with the band, the band is adding just a little bit extra resistance to that move. Well done. One more each side. Good, well done. Now, you should be starting to feel the glutes just burning a little bit there now. So this time we're coming into a side lying plank. So you want to have your elbow underneath your shoulder, feet stacked, and all you're gonna do is come up to a side plank. Gonna need to come down a little bit. Now, if you need to, you can keep that bottom leg on the ground and just come up. You want to keep a tight core right through the middle. We're gonna do it on the side. Keep that core squeezed in. Glutes are squeezed tight. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap forward and we're gonna tap back. If you need to, use your opposite hand to balance. Good. Good. Five to go. Anytime you need to put that leg down, put it down. 
but keep that squeeze in the glute. Good. Well done. From there, we're doing the same. Up onto your side bridge, hold it. Squeeze the glutes as tight as you can. And we're just doing a pulse. That burns very, very quickly. Especially after doing that sets of glute bridges. So same again, into your side plank. Hold yourself up if you can. If you need to keep that leg down, keep it down. Squeeze the glute, tap forward, tap back, forward, back. You're really trying to keep your hips in a straight line and not swinging too much. Two to go. Well done. Ten. Back into that plank. Pulsing. Two. Three. Four. Oh. You should be feeling that in those glutes now. They are burning. See, even without a weight or anything else, you can still really work the muscles just on their own. Now, the last move that we're gonna do today is a lunge lift. So I want you to come into a lunge, down. When you come out of the lunge, you're lifting that back leg up. So one, up, two, up, so you're really squeezing through that. You shouldn't be able to take the leg up high because you really want to be thinking of squeezing that glute, lift the leg. Three to go. Well done. Even the front quad is getting a little bit of a workout there as well. Good. Same again. So we're going to lunge it down, squeeze the glute, lift the leg. One more, go. Well done. All it takes, seven moves, one after the other. 30 seconds rest in between, one to two rests between each set. You're now gonna do that two more times round and really feel that backside work. Enjoy.